Ever wondered how big God is? The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies declare the work of his hand. The data I'm about to share with you is for the observable universe. Mankind is yet to invent a telescope big enough to see the entire universe. I am going to be communicating this in the most relatable way possible, so stay with me. Light travels at about 300,000 kilometers per second. In one second, a beam of light can circle the Earth 7.5 times. The two cities with the farthest distance from themselves are Rosario, Argentina and Xinhua in China. Light covers this distance 15 times in one second. The measuring tape in the universe is light years. One light year is 9.46 trillion kilometers. This is the basic unit of measurement in the universe. The observable universe is made up of over 10 million superclusters. Superclusters are made up of clusters. Clusters are made up of galaxies. And the Earth is a small part of the Milky Way galaxy. Traveling at the speed of light, which is about 300,000 kilometers per second, it will take about 100,000 light years to move from one end of the Milky Way galaxy to the other end of the Milky Way galaxy. The size of the Earth's solar system in comparison to the Milky Way galaxy is like the size of a coin to the whole of North America. It will take 17 billion Earths to fill our Milky Way galaxy. Guess what? There are over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. The actual energy of the sun is like billions of nuclear bombs exploding every second. To power the sun for one second, a power company would require the gross national product of America for 7 million years. Please note, the sun is just one of the billions of stars in the Milky Way subdivision of our universe. Did the previous statement amaze you? Check this out. At the center of the pistol nebula is the pistol star. It is a whooping 10 million times brighter than the sun. In Job 38, 31, God said, Job, can you hold Pleiades in your hand? Fam, Pleiades is 35 light years. That is 35 times 9.46 trillion kilometers. Yet it is smaller than a speck in God's hands. How big did you say your problems are again? The next time a thought of worry crosses your mind, remember, this great God was looking for a home in the entire universe and he chose to live inside of you. Yes, you watching this video. He is the very present help in times of trouble. If he upholds this complex system called the universe, your problems are absolutely nothing for him to resolve.